to know things for ourselves. You know, the Bible does say that uh, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Now that comes, that means, you know, lack of knowledge of who God is and of what his word is saying and what it means. But then also when you, when you step away from the word and you step into, uh, you know, scientific evidence and stuff like that, we need to have knowledge of that. We need to know what is good to place into our bodies. You know, there's a scripture that says, excuse me, First Corinthians uh, 6, verse 19 to 20. It says, what? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? For ye are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. Right. So. Anything that we decide to put into our body, we should know whether it's healthy or not, because as believers in Christ, we know that our body is, is the temple for the Holy Spirit. And we can't, you know, mix uh, unhealthy things, be it physical things or even things that we watch on TV, things that we put into our spirit that way. TV, music, um, whatever form of entertainment you want to think of. Um, excuse me. If we are... Um, if we're placing those things into our system and we know that that's not uh, it's not good because the Holy Spirit needs to dwell in there and we need to have a clean temple for the Holy Spirit to dwell in, then we have problems. You know, we have problems when we don't listen. So, again, coming down to this, I know that the Lord gave me this information and pointed me to this information so that I uh, so so that I would know the yeah, you don't need to do this. This is not what you're supposed to do. I created you. I gave you this immune system. As long as you take care of your body and you maintain yourself and you you maintain your temple, both physically and, and uh, spiritually, there's nothing to worry about. You know, that's why in these times, you know, we have that peace that uh, transcends all understanding, you know, and in the midst of crazy times as these we can really be at peace in knowing that, you know, the Lord God is with us, that he's protecting us. Um, we should read Psalm 91. That's a beautiful psalm right there. Uh, and that he, uh, you know, he will place us uh, under his wing, you know. And um, we just need to, again, really be grounded and rooted in our faith, you know, and not back down for anything. Even if that does mean, you know, because this, this situation that I just spoke of, you know, with it, with this position that I hold, that could have went any way, even though with this with this uh, letter, you know, that I gave, they could have read it and said, you know what? Nah, it's not. We don't we still don't. You still need to do this. You know, we don't care what you say. We're not giving you this exemption, you know. But again, that's that. That would mean that I would have to really not back down and continue to trust in the Lord that he would still provide because that's who he is. Jehovah Jireh. He is our provider. But uh, yeah, you know, that this situation could have went either way. But again, you know, the Lord, the Lord really had favor with me and allow for me to, you know, allow for these people to see that I'm serious about this and that the word of God is true. You know, so we need to have a, um, a firm foundation. We need to have something to stand on that even in times of trouble and uh, times of, you know, challenging times uh, such as these that we will still be able to stand no matter what and know that the Lord will take care of us. And, you know, in Matthew chapter six, he says, look at the beasts of the field and the fowl of the air. You know, they don't do anything, but yet the Lord still takes care of them. So being worried about, oh, well, if I don't take this shot or if I don't, you know, adhere to this belief, then I won't be able to feed my family. I won't be able to, you know, pay my bills and, and pay my mortgage, pay my, you know, my, my utilities or all that stuff. We know that the Lord, you know, as his children, he's going to take care of us. You know, we don't need to bow down to a system. We need to bow down to the Lord God Almighty and um, do what he has, uh, do, do what he desires us to do. And that's the most important thing. You know, again, we're going to be challenged, you know, especially the body of Christ. We're going to be challenged uh, in, in years to come. And will we be able to stand? Will we be able to um, you know, say, hey, my faith in the Lord is much more important than some money, than uh, than a job, than this, that, and the other, because I know that the Lord is going to provide for me no matter what, especially if I hold, uh, hold firm to his word of truth and live by it and abide by it, you know? So, um, yeah, you know, I just wanted to share that with you guys and uh, let you guys know that, you know, Time times are really going to change, you know. Um, we know that now we are closer and closer to the Lord's return. 
uh, more and more each day, you know, and it's shown by what's going on in the world today. So that's something to be joy, joyful about, you know, that's something to have joy in. But, you know, again, it's going to be challenging. So our faith is going to be tested and there's no reason for us to back away from the Lord, you know, to start getting scared when things get a little rough now. When we've been walking with him for you know such a long amount of time, you know, we need to continue to have that that walk. Um, no matter how things get, no matter how difficult or rough things get, because it's not going to be easy, you know. But um, if you're a warrior for Christ, you know that you're, you're ready for battle. You're ready for uh, the spiritual warfare that we're up against. So um, I just wanted to give some words of encouragement and say that, you know, trust in the Lord no matter what. Um, stand on his word. That's going to be the title of it. Stand on it. <laughs> for real. So. Um, yeah, man, I just uh, hope that that blessed you guys and um, I hope uh, that it was encouraging. And, you know, I just pray that you guys really stand firm in these days, you know, that um, and if you don't know the Lord, that, um, you know, the Lord impresses it upon you guys to repent from your sins and turn to him, you know, turn to his word of truth. Know the truth. Be prepared for the second coming. Know what's to come. No prophecy and fulfillment. You know, um, that's the most important thing. Now, you know, we're living in a time of revelation right now. So we need to know that we need to know the word and uh, we need to be grounded in it and um, hold firm to it. You know, we need to just trust in the Lord, get away from these false teachings and false pastors. And, um, you know, I, I mentioned it a little earlier about the pastor that couldn't, you know, I, I, I gave him my statement that I wrote. And, um, you know, he was like, I understand your position, but, you know, we just can't do it. And, you know, all these things. So, you know, we need to you know, make sure that we're receiving the truth um, wherever we're going. You know, whatever uh, pastor or leader that we are under, we need to examine the words, be like the Bereans. And when they say something, we go back to the scriptures and figure it out for ourselves. We ask God for discernment, for understanding of his word. And we see what's true and what's not. And we leave the false teaching because that only comes from the devil. You know, so, um, yeah, guys, um, I just thank you for tuning in. And um, I just again, I hope this blesses you. So, uh, yeah, share this joint. All over the place. Um, we on all major platforms. Uh, shout out to my host in sight, Spreaker. Um, shout out to Bedore Watches. That's my brand. Um, we got watches. We got some jewelry on there. And soon, um, within the week, we'll have some, some apparel, too. So, uh, you know, the Lord is just doing a lot of things and I'm just so blessed and grateful that he's given me this opportunity to testify to you guys about his word of truth and also to be able to, you know, be in business and, and do something that I actually love to do, which is design and, you know, create different things. So, um, yeah, man, trust in the Lord. Don't waver. Don't fold. Don't bend for anyone or anything, you know, um, hold firm to his word and let him lead you. All right. So, uh, yeah, appreciate y'all. Y'all be blessed. Yo, yo. Yo, yo.